Hey, it's Matt. Congratulations, you have a new team site. And you really like this getting started with your site thing, but you want that for yourself. You want this look and feel for yourself. You want these to be your links. Well, the first thing you got to do is get rid of this thing because it's lame. It doesn't work. You can't customize it. So what do you do? You want some icons on your site. You want icon navigation. Well, stick with me for the next five minutes. I'll show you how to make it happen. All right, so you've got your team site and you've started building pages. In my case, I have pages for announcements, clients, projects, timekeeping, and stuff like that. I want links on my home page that take my users to those locations and I want it to look really good. I want the icons to show up. So you don't start here. Where you start is at icons eight. This is an outstanding website. In my case, I want things for people. So I can do a search for people and I can start building up a set of icons that I can use on my team site. So let's do that real quick. We'll match up the icons for my requirements. I'm going to start by creating a collection. The collection just makes my life a lot easier. I can create a new collection here. I can call this my team site collection. The other thing I do is I set the color to white and I'll show you why we do that later. And now all I'm going to do is just start searching for the icons that I want to use. Then I'm going to set the size of the icons to 100 pixels. That's the largest you can get for free from icons 8. All right, let me get some other icons and we'll get started here. All right, once you've got them all wrapped up here in your collection, just click download. Once you have them downloaded, extract them somewhere you can find them again, and then we're going to edit each of these because right now they're transparent, but you'll notice they come right up to the edge and they're 100 by 100. SharePoint likes 150 by 150. This is super easy to fix in any editing software. I'm going to use Snagit Editor and all I'm going to do is come up here to Image, Resize Canvas, and I'm simply going to set this to 150 by 150. This is going to allow me to resize the image, give it a nice border all the way around. So I'm going to finish up this with all the rest of these images. So we have all of our images resized. All we need to do now is add them to our site. So I'm going to go into my site and I'm going to go into site contents and a good place to store these doesn't really matter where. I mean you can set up your own location but I'm just going to use the out of the box site assets library and um, let's create a new folder for them. And then let's upload those files. Now this is just getting the images up. So you'll notice that we have all the images. They're all looking good in there. And the next step is to create a list that we're going to use to link to these images. Site contents. Choose new app. On the new app page, choose promoted links. Call it whatever you like. I'll call it links. And when you go into the links list, this is a new links list. Since there aren't any links there, we're going to go to the all promoted links view. And then from here, we can just click new item. So it'll allow us to add the items to the list the way that we want to see them. So for example, I'm going to want to have my announcements. And then I'm going to have those announcements have a description. the URL to our megaphone icon, the link to the page, and in this case I'm going to go ahead and have it do a new tab. We'll choose Save. What does this look like? Well, if I go back to the links list, it's going to show me my announcement and it'll take me to that location. So let's add the rest of these links. 
All right, so we have our list created. And you may notice this is kind of lame. It has this little this little mover and it doesn't fill the screen. We're going to fix that. But if you want to see the entire list, you can still switch into all promoted links view. And this will show you your list as you're used to seeing it. Um, all I did here for the uh, background image location and link location is just duplicate the title. But that is a compound um, object. It is the URL in the description built in there. So now we've got that set up. Let's go back to our home page. This is really where we want to see everything and, uh, and view our icon list. So I'm going to come into page. I'm going to edit the page. I'm going to add the app part for our links list. And there we go. We got our links on the page. Now there's other things that you can do. Like if you don't like this links text, then you can come up here and edit the web part and come down to appearance and say welcome but that's about all you can do with this with this web part there's not a whole lot else that it's going to allow you to do in fact if i take it from this location down here and i drop it into the site feed and maybe move the site feed over here you'll notice that it gets even worse so if i save this page the user experience is terrible. So let's fix that. All you have to do is edit the page. And we're going to drop a script editor web part on the page. So that's down here under media and content. And we'll choose the script editor web part. Now we're going to take care of two things at the same time. The first thing we're going to take care of is the way the web part looks. But we're also going to satisfy the icons 8 license agreement which is we're going to put a link in here back to icons 8 that allows us to use this for free so we click on edit snippet we paste in the style for the promoted link body and header and then we also have a link here to the icons 8 site choose OK choose save and now look at what you have as the page is resized these links will change their orientation. The other thing that you get, so if I come back here to page and I edit this page, and let's say that instead of a 50-50 page layout, I want to go to a 60-40, I can do that. Let me change it to one column with sidebar, or let's change it to a three column. You'll notice that those resize perfectly. One column, sure, that'll resize as well. There's one other benefit of doing it this way. Notice how they look? They're blue. If I come up here and I change the look of my site, since we're using transparent icons, let's choose something like orange. Let's go to try it out. Watch what happens to my icons. How about that? So this way, you can manage a list of links, get the icons looking the way you want. That's a real professional result. Thanks to Icons 8, a little bit of editing, and a lot of SharePoint. If you like this kind of content, let me know in the comments. And please do subscribe to this channel, and I'll keep the content coming. Thanks.